Hey everyone. So we finished up chores this morning and it's about mid morning now. We got our old cattle trailer out here and this thing is wearing out to the point where we don't really trust it on the road anymore. It's a piece of junk, honestly. We've had it for a while. It's rusting out. So my dad is actually on the road right now going to pick up another trailer. I want to get that one cleaned up so we can sell it or figure out what we're going to do with it. We might have a neighbor that wants it. But first thing I want to do, our feeding skid loader, the front tire last night went flat on us. You can see the stem pulled out. I think there might be a tube in there, twisted or I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but I got to get this lifted up, take this off. And this afternoon, once we have the truck back, my dad can take that tire to the tire shop. Always takes me a couple tries to get the tools I need. We'll worry about that guy later. Yeah, so look at this beaut of a trailer. Look at that. Got some shavings and manure inside there. I wanna clean that out and then pressure wash it a little bit. I'm sure we'll have a neighbor that'll give a couple hundred bucks for it. I don't really know what it's worth. It still works, kinda. I don't have the truck to pull it, so I'm going to get the skid loader, put the forks on it, see if we can't pull it around with that. Just hop in here quick. Oh no. No, I'm just kidding. We'll have to use the, uh, the little guy. I'm just going to put a ball hitch on this right here. We'll be able to pull it around with that if I can find the uh, bowl hitch that we have. Everything's a mess around here. Working on my office still. You got the lights in. Pretty nice dimmable lighting. And all the electric is run. Baseboard heat. It is ready for insulation and then we'll put the T111 boards on the inside. And then uh, we'll just put the electric caps on and everything. Get the door in. Up here we have our uh, installation in already. So yeah, coming along a little bit slower than I wanted it to, but kind of been working to other things. Let's get this uh, ball hitch on here quick. Come on. Of course the one size I need is not here. We're gonna use two pipe wrenches. I don't care enough, so I'm just gonna do that right there. That'll get the job done. We just need to move it around the farm a little bit. Let's get this trailer. I'm gonna scrape this out. Take it up there to the end of the free saw up there. Get the pressure washer out.
Taking my pressure washer back now. So this skidler with the cab is nice for bedding when it gets so hot in here. We have this little fan back here that helps a little bit keep the air moving, but just gonna go set it out by the road out there. We'll see if someone stops in and takes it. Sitting right there looking all pretty. I don't think anyone's gonna be able to resist that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some lunch. It's a little bit early, but we'll go eat a while and then I'm gonna be milking cows this afternoon. I'm heading out here to get started milking soon, but my dad got back with the trailer. It's a Corn Pro, 16 foot long, six foot eight inches wide, I believe. It is three years old. Just slightly used, but it's in really good condition. Guess there's just a little bit of rust here on the floor. I think Dad's gonna put some paint on that before we put it away. But yeah, should do the job for us. Looks pretty nice. We don't use the trailer a ton, like we don't put a lot of miles on it, but it is something we need. We usually, once a week, take a load of a cow or two and calves over to the sale barn. And then uh, we also haul our heifers just down the road a little bit to our rented farm with the trailer. So we definitely don't put a lot of miles on it, but we need to have something for, uh, for all and stuff around. I'm ready to get started with the milking now. We milk three times a day, 4.30 in the morning, 12.30 afternoon and eight at night. I normally just do mornings, except Thursday afternoon is the only afternoon milking I'll do. Today's Thursday, so I uh, I don't mind the afternoon. I usually like the morning a bit more, but once in a while it's okay. Let's see if these cows want to move, it's so hot out. Come on, girls, come on. Yesterday we put the rest of this rubber down, did all of group one, or maybe that was two days ago. But uh, yeah, that was two days ago. But yeah, the cows, they seem to be eating a little bit better now this week since we have the rubber in. I don't know if that's just a coincidence or if uh, it made a difference. Hopefully it did make a difference, but. Come on girls, get up, get up.
second group three over now. Opening this up so the pen two cows will go across back into their group. And we're gonna milk these. This one's being stubborn for some reason today. Let's go. Oh, so hot out. I'm heading down to the shop to grab a soda. Right now my dad's cleaning up that little bit of rust in the trailer. He's put some paint on there before we park it. We're soon done with the milking. Last cow from pen three going out. We're gonna open up group four now. We'll be done crossing the middle. I'm gonna scrape this up and close it. Finished up with the milking. Got a few minutes here to work at this office. I'm gonna try to keep getting this done. I'm ready to put the boards on top. I'm gonna do that right now. Then I can set this shelf along here and get this area cleaned up so it's not a big old mess like it is right now. I don't think Dad's too happy with me. I just have this 5 8 inch flake board to do the job. This will be nice, we'll have some storage space up here. Not completely wasting a corner of the shop. Gotta have room for junk, you know? Got her done. Pretty solid, that 5 8 inch is thick enough that doesn't bow in between the studs there, so I think we're good. That's gonna be it for this video. I will catch you guys in the next one.